Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 themed run, the Roboticist run, where I'm going through Fallout 4 as a character who likes robots and stuff. Yay! Uh, first thing I need to do this episode, because apparently my arm got busted at some point, is repair my power armor. I'm genuinely a bit surprised it's been so damaged. I'm also going to check. Yeah, it looks like I've got a few things that I'll be dropping and just scrapping, because yeah, I don't need most of this, and I'll sort out my inventory. But let's fix this up. So the helmet... Okay, the helmet's just steel. Anything that's just steel, I'm gonna repair. Because why wouldn't I? I think the torso... Yeah, the torso also requires circuitry. So I'm gonna leave that for now, because it's still got a fair bit of condition anyway. And this armor's only temporary, to be fair. Uh, and the kind of just overall plan for this episode is we will be heading to Overland Station, which is just a short walk from there and probably doing my quest for them, but it depends where they send us. And then afterwards we've got Diamond City, which we can head towards. Oh damn, there appears to be a fight going on, which... Oh come on buddy, are you really gonna stand in the way? I wanna... I wanna help out. There we go. Hey, we... Okay, we shot one of them, wasted a few shots there, which isn't great, because I do need to be a little bit... Uh, of a conservationist when it comes to the energy ammo. But who got killed here? You're a... You're just a random settler. Okay. Hey. You showed up just in the nick of time. Oh, uh, I'm glad to help you, I guess. Glad to help. You're one of the good ones. You wouldn't happen to know of any places to settle around here, would you? I'm tired of always being on the run. I sure do. Yeah, if you're able to survive, then sure, head to Sanctuary, I guess? Why not? Thanks. There's a farm there. See you there in a day or two. I do like the random little settler encounters you sometimes get. It's nice, gives them a reason, like a proper good reason for showing up. Also, Metal armor -ish started showing up. Perfect. I can actually equip my person with, like, thematic-looking armor. Uh, once I'm out of the power armor, that is. That's a good thing, though. Um, I'll take the bladed tire iron. Won't use it, but maybe it scraps down for more than just steel. Discovered Overland Station, and hopefully... Yeah, I don't think there's anything attacking. There was a wolf or mongrel over there we dealt with, <laughs> Look, so this should just be easy. One of them fancy robots. Oh, yeah, they like I robots! Thank you very much. Yeah! How can we help you? Hey, we could really use your help. Hey, you like robots, so yeah, go ahead. Just tell me what you need. Something nasty is living just around the corner from here. It's only a matter of time before there's some real trouble. Well, what's really too bad is it'd be a nice spot for a new settlement. And in fact, I know some folks that'd love to set up there if it was safe. If you can make sure the old workshop there is still in one piece, anyone who decides to move in later will be able to rebuild. No problem. I'll take care of them for you. Oh God, I hope so. We didn't know what to do. Oh... Sunshine Tidings, um, yeah, you know what, I think I might actually do that, it's not too far from, do we want to go up from Arkjet or down from Abernathy? Eh, uh, maybe up from Arkjet, yeah, I'm gonna do that, because there's, there's a robot there, and that fits with the Roboticist kind of run. Like, I might not worry if it was a different settlement that was a bit far away, but this'll work. Ooh, we're currently walking through some heavy radiation zones. But I'm actually in power armor for once, so I'm gonna check out this little place. Cause yeah, I don't I don't normally come into here because it's you know filled with tons of rads. But right now I'm not taking too many, and it wait is there seriously nothing good here? Like I get that isn't it like a ghoul's house or something? And that's why it's like this. But oh, I was expecting something a little bit better than just the basic junk I got. Okay, we got a little robot there. Let's let's leave him be and find a different robot instead. Oh, what we also have is Carhenge, which I think at higher levels has a super mutant, but I'm not... Oh, super mutant. A super mutant behemoth. <laughs> yeah, me getting all excited. Oh, there's a super mutant normally here. No, there's normally a behemoth at higher levels. I'm not sure Yeah, what shows up now, though, because I'm only level 10. I feel like it'd be a bit cruel of the game to have a behemoth show up, but I also wouldn't mind that, honestly. It'd be kind of fun to have, like, a big tanky enemy just off to the side of places you'd go to. But okay, it looks like it's just a pretty location for now. But hey, another metal arm. Yeah, I do like Carhenge. 
It's a really nice unmarked location. Made it to the co-op. Only got 28 XP for discovering this place. I thought I normally got 31. Uh, but that minor disaster aside, losing free experience. Free experience points, I also have a gun I apparently can't shoot very well. Alright, and yeah, it's now going to be a case of clearing the hostiles. Um, where did the other corpse go? I've lost a corpse. Oh well. This should be nice and easy. And yeah, Professor Goodfields is here. Yeah, buddy old pal, we'll be dealing with you shortly. Let's first just run up and kill the remaining ghouls. Because there's not many of them. Apparently I only need to kill two more. I know there's also some rad roaches. But yeah, if you're going to make this super easy for me, I'm not going to stop you. How is that only 60 to hit? Well, let's give it a shot. Let's crit you, you know what? Oh, and that still wasn't enough to actually kill you. Well, fair enough. Alright, somewhere is... There it is. I thought it was on the table, but no. Wasteland Survival Guide. Permanently collect extra meat from animal kills. Not as important here. Oh, look at all that stuff. Um, but still a nice thing to have. In survival, that's like an early go-to thing to grab. Because it really helps with keeping your hunger in check when you can kill, like, good animals and get double the meat from them. Um, I'm pretty sure there's, like, more enemies, but apparently it wants me to go over here and I'm guessing just claim the workshop already. So... Hey, we got a workshop. Nice. Okay, so I'll report my success in a minute. Uh, first we've got, yep, far out little... Robot buddy, far out. Yeah, and... Oh, and we got more robots showing up, see? Oh, we really are just a friend of the robots, aren't we? This is nice. Alright, I'm gonna unlock this terminal. Should be nice and easy. I'll probably just guess, guess our way through on the first try, yep. Uh, the Misty Handy Control, choose protocols. Yeah, there's Just Be or Guard. I'm gonna leave you on the Just Be protocol. That's, that's a good one. Uh, not shut down unit, no, no, no. There's also a whole log here about, yeah, we, we got the Mr. Handy and are letting him be free now, woo! But yeah, we're just gonna let good feels be good. We could have put him on guard protocol and he becomes a bit more aggressive and will defend the place, but I'm not too worried about that. Instead, I'm just gonna take out the final couple of enemies because I'm pretty sure there's a... Are you alive? No, you're not alive. Okay, it's just some rad roaches left then. And I'll... Uh, will I bother scrapping down this place? I, you know what? I probably won't. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be that worthwhile. Uh, instead, let's use the tire iron and just... Try and... Really? There we go. Smack the rad roaches, which now, yeah, give to me. There we go. The thing's already in effect. Back to Oberland Station to report that the area's clear. Um, you, you gonna get up? Come on. Uh, talk. Talk already. You're back. Any luck clearing out that trouble spot? I cleared that place out for you. Should be safe for your friends to move in now. Thanks. Nice to have some good news around here for a change. By the way, we've decided to support the Minutemen. We gotta help each other if we want things to get better. Excellent. And now just a quick hop back to Preston. Although first I will check if you've got anything worthwhile me taking in here. Oh yeah. Actually, some of this is quite nice. In fact, you know what? I've got the carry weight. Let's just take everything <laughs> and then be on our way. Uh, our settlements are mostly going to hate us, but that's fine. We don't care about the people as much as robots. Hey, Preston, we Stay helped sharp. a settlement for you. Don't let your guard down. The Minutemen are on a roll. I helped that settlement you sent me to and cleared the way for a new settlement in the process. That's fantastic news. We're going to take back the whole Commonwealth from the bad guys at this rate. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. Something else has come up. We've gotten big enough that we're having trouble communicating with all our settlements. It's a good problem to have, and I have a solution. I think it's time to retake the castle. It used to be the Minutemen HQ, way before my time. Well fortified, centrally located, and most important, it has a powerful radio transmitter we can use to broadcast to the whole Commonwealth. Sounds like just what we need right now. <laughs> I thought you'd like the idea. So. Should I have an assault force assemble near the castle? Yeah, let's do this. We'll do some recon and meet you outside the castle. See you there. Excellent. Started taking independence, and Preston's gonna run off 
and do it. Cot Cotsworth, are you following Preston now? Yeah, I'm calling you out, buddy. You need to, yeah, stay with me, okay? Alrighty, I'll sort out my inventory a bit, and the castle's fairly far away. Yeah, I don't know if we'll make it there this episode, but I should be able to make it to Diamond City once I'm done with my quick crafting. And, oh, I also actually need to check out the new armour I've got. Because I finally can wear more than just a vault suit under here. I have... Da, 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 metal, 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 metal. Cool. So I'll drop these two. And we'll scrap them in a second. For now, I want to see if there's any good modifications I can make. Um, you know, I'm going to need armour anyway. So... Do, 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 do I want to... Hmm. It's really materials is the only thing I'm concerned with. But you know what? First things first. Let's actually spend the perk point and get armor up. Because it's going to be needed. There we go. And now see what kind of stuff we've got. We've, oh, we've only got the arms and the legs, no chest piece. Yeah, that means we can go all the way to Alloyed if we want, which is pretty nice. Uh, could I go Shadow? Mm, I'm tempted to go Shadowed instead. Because it's a bit stealthy, and I like the colour, and it's a lot lower weight. Yeah, I might end up going shadowed with everything. Pocketed would be nice, but not super important. Yeah, rest of this stuff. Limb damage and arm damage. That's, yeah, a lot of melee-based things. I think on my legs there'll be something better, though, won't there? Um, reduce fallen damage, strengthened... Oh no, not really. Yeah, I'll probably just make everything lighter build and shadowed for the time being. Oh, it actually turns out lighter build costs like cork and fiberglass, which I don't have a lot of. So let's just have the left side light and the right side heavy. That'll be not weird at all. Heading towards the Diamond City area, and over here there's always a bit of a uh, scuffle going on. Uh, I was going to say scuffle, and then a scavenger showed up, and that threw my brain for a loop. Too many sc sounds. Oh, buddy, why did you run out towards me? That's a dumb thing to do. <laughs> you made me panic. Oh, and then Cosworth chopped your head off. Yeah, that wasn't smart of you, was it? Um, I wonder who they're fighting. I hope they're not fighting robots. Because I'll feel bad if I'm killing robots. But I'm fine with killing the humans. That's all good by my books. Oh no, it looks like raiders. You look, yeah, particularly raidery. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Uh, I'll take the 10mm auto. Uh, the metal stuff's only going to be... Yeah, at this point I'm only picking up like a metal chest piece. Or like any armour that's modified. Because then it will uh, give a little extra boost. Do we have any more raiders? Any more raiders? Any more for any more? No? Alright, I'll loot them and then carry on. On my way through, I figure I may as well go to Hangman's Alley. It's like a good central little base to have. I won't be using it too much, because i got fast travel now. But it gives me an excuse to throw down some mines as well. Cod Codsworth, please don't run directly into the mines. Also, I can't believe you're not getting affected by the mines. You're, you're so close to them. Okay, how about we... Whoop. There we go. <laughs> Big mine there. And shoot you a bunch. Oh, I level up. Excellent. Don't even need to worry about healing. Lovely stuff. Are we... Wow, we, we cleared that fast. <laughs> Man, I, I'm still so used to having to go through things tactically. I can hear the Diamond City security struggling a bit in the background, but I'll claim this place and then go and help them. Alright, security, how are you getting on with these super mutants, eh? You... You just killed them all. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna loot this for nothing, and... Yeah, just be fine. Um, oh, before I do that, though, let's do a quick bit of trading. And no, I'm not picking up the thing you think I'm getting. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the main reason people like cricket is because of... Da, 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 spray and play. Play. Prey. I can't even say it. Spray and prey, which people love because it's an explosive automatic weapon, which is very powerful. Can also get yourself killed, but also very powerful. But no, I, I don't care about that. Um, do I want a metal helmet? N not for 136 caps, I definitely don't. Oh yeah, I'm, I forget, I've got terrible charisma and nothing boosting it. What I want is, yep, all the fusion cells, which is a grand. Oh wow. Wow, 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 wow. That's, yeah, that's a lot. 
And then I'm going to sell off anything particularly expensive I happen to have picked up, but it's mostly going to be ammo, just to cover me. Perfect stuff. Actually managed to make quite a profit there, because yeah, all of these bullets I've been picking up with Scrounger sell for a minimum of one cap a piece, so it, it adds up fast. Like on survival mode, I'd argue that Fortune Finder could be better than Scrounger, but in just standard gameplay, Scrounger is so much better, because every single bullet is at least one cap. Oh, and that's a mine! That's a mine! That's a mine! Sorry, Cosworth. Oh boy, um, I kind of forgot about the mine. I... well, at least I didn't die. We've made it to Diamond City. Uh, Piper's gonna, like, engage with us and be like, Hey, you wanna get the door open? I'm just gonna cut it all out, because it's not important. This is our only time we'll be dealing with her this run, I think. We're now inside of Diamond City, and I'm, I'm really happy that there's, like, Diamond City Market as its own fast travel point, because it saves you quite a hefty load zone on console, I imagine, and even quite a bit just here. Um, and why is... Oh, is it? Oh, it's night time. Oh, you're kidding. What time is it? Oh, no, it's about to turn into the day. All right, I will deal with... First off, let's disarm this, because you get XP for it. Yep. Oh, C Codsworth, that's a bit too friendly. Okay, buddy. Let's see what you got. The highest quality available. Yep, we're just going to deal with Percy. I'm just going to be looking to get any fusion cells I can get. They are quite expensive for me. But then I'll just be giving back caps. And I think the shops will be open in a minute. So I'm just going to hang out and wait to see if that's going to happen. This is something I wasn't really thinking about, but which is tempting. There's Old Faithful as well, but it cost me nearly three grand. And I've not got up to that. So I'm not realistically going to be getting it this time. But I do wonder if it'd be better for me than Righteous Authority is, because I don't use that all that often. And double damage at the start is pretty good. But I'm not going to worry too much about it just yet. Instead, I'm just going to be doing my standard. Give me all your fusion cells, which apparently isn't many. And yeah, the cores are really expensive as well. There's no way I'm picking up those. Oh dear. Um, I fast travelled to Fen Street Sewers. I think it would be a bit easier for me. But... Oh, I hear that noise. Oh, there's going to be a big explosion. Yep. Sorry, Godsworth. You all good, buddy? Oh, there. Okay, let's deal with the skirmisher. Just mass volume of fire. Is that everyone? No, we're still in danger. Oh, but Godsworth has got himself back up. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh... I kind of expected to spawn in over there, and instead I seem to spawn in around there and then got a bit lost. Um, but this is fine. Just a quick bit of combat against all of them. Okay, there is a super mutant about, but I don't know where he is. Sounds like he's over there somewhere. Well, you don't need to worry about that. Uh, my plan now is to actually head to the castle, because I realised I've not really done too much this episode. There's been quite a lot of travelling and just wandering about. But I don't know how long the episode actually is right now. Probably not that long. So, why couldn't you have been some kind of energy weapon? Um, so yeah, I'm just going to make my way towards the castle. Ooh, machete. And see what happens on the journey there. We'll find out together. Now, this little junkyard, I suppose. I suppose it's like a mini junkyard parking lot kind of place I am prepared for. There's, yeah, going to be several... Or oh, several, a few mongrels here. But the turrets will help us, right, turrets? Come on. There you go. And oh, I was going to say they'll save me a bit of ammo, but <laughs> that's not actually going quite as smoothly as I would have liked. Yeah, the turret was just really slow to act. Normally they're vicious and just tear through everything, but that one was a bit behind on things. Now, also over this way, there's more rad roaches. Oh. Oh, you were a bit late, weren't you? Oh, poor little mongrels. Got the memo too late. Uh, am I going the... Yeah, it's over here. There'll be a rad roach that shows up. And it's not legendary. Okay, neither of them are legendary. That's another one where sometimes you get, like, a really easy legendary, which can give you the best item in the entire game. Because legendary system, grumble, grumble, grumble. Alright, um, normally I'd head through that way into the... 
into the city to get the intelligence bobblehead. We're not going to the castle. What, what am I doing? There's there's an intelligence bobblehead, Sarge, and you're not capped at 10 or anything, are you? Also, oh, a legendary. Hey, I was just saying about how you can get, like, the best weapon in the game. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, attack dog. No, 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 no. What I want to do is, like, throw my mines down. Uh... Let's just... Oh, your arm's broken. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, just... Do that real quick. Oh! Okay, Codsworth, you... Um... Yeah, you kind of set everything on fire there, buddy. I don't really want to use a stim pack, but... Oh, maybe I should. Yeah, that was a shotgun to the face. And we got a Psycho and a Standard Raider. Let's take... Let's fail to hit anything. And then see what the legendary is. Oh, it's a lucky shotgun. Uh, that's, that's not going to help me, is it? Oh, but that's a chess piece I can use. Alright, let's... Can I equip the chess piece while in there? No, I can't. But hey, we've now got a full set of metal armour. That's good, we've got non-power armour. Armor, which is nice to see. Anyone on that side? Yes, you. Lovely. And... I was about to say, are you going to show up? Perfect. Alright. Just a quick killing of all of those, and it did get us a chess piece we needed. Oh, and some economy wonder glue. Yeah, now it's time to head towards the library, because more intelligence is always good. The library has been discovered. Before I head inside, we're going to once again deal with the rad roaches. Okay, the XP game was a bit slow there. Just see if there's any... No, I didn't see a legendary thing pop up there. But, hey -o, that's that's still some rad roach meat we get. And, okay, Cosworth decided to open the door as well. Yeah, there's bobby pins and some chems here. And then the winter holotape, which I don't think we'll be picking up all of those. To the library back door, I guess? I think this is the back door. Yeah, well, we have uh, one of the few guaranteed speech checks in the game. Welcome to the Boston Public Library. The library is currently closed. Only employees and those with a scheduled appointment may enter. Matter of fact, I do have an appointment. Made it 200 years ago, asshole. I'm sorry, but there are no appointments scheduled for today. Please call and book an appointment for a later date. Thank you. I work here. Let me in. Please provide your six-digit employee ID number. Yes, right. My ID number is, um... One, two, three, four, five, six. Welcome, Mr. Mayor. Please enjoy your visit. Mind the mess. We are currently undergoing maintenance. I don't normally head in here with a follower, so I'm a bit concerned about this, because I know how to jump over it. Okay, Codsworth didn't set it off. Yeah, we're going to have a very easy fight shortly then, where we'll be helping robots. Oh yeah, it's somewhat thematic. Woo. And, and I really do like the gun of stuff. I mean, this run's not had a terrible start. If if the series gets like high views, I'm obviously gonna stick with themed runs. So maybe I'll do a gunner's run at some point. That could be kind of fun. Uh, let's take the storage room key, take the rad away. Yeah, let's unlock the suitcase. I'm pretty sure it's just basic armor in here, but I have to try. Sweet. I have to check. Yep, just basic armor. Cool. And now Protect there's going to be a ton of good loot in here as well. But the thing we need, intelligence bobblehead. Perfect. Bob takes the smartest individuals to realize there's always more to learn. And that's a permanent plus one to intelligence, which means we now have 12 intelligence at base. Like nothing is improving that. That's just as standard 12 intelligence, which is pretty great. We're going to be earning so much XP. We're already like four levels away from um from getting onto the automatron stuff. Which is pretty solid. Uh, now obviously I am gonna help out the robots in just a minute, but I don't want to leave stuff behind. So let's <gasps> let's get our first plasma gun. Okay, I have no well basically no plasma rounds for it, but oh we've got a plasma pistol. That's yeah. If I can just get enough rounds. Oh, that'll be like our big heavy hitting weapon. Oh, that's great. If anyone has tips for like early plasma rounds, let me know. 
So the best I can really think of is hoping to get them from merchants. But if there's a specific plan anyone has normally for plasma, do 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 fill me in. Uh, also, yeah, I wanna I wanna join in and show that I'm helping the robots, but I really don't want to get hit by the robots or hit the robots themselves. And yeah, it appears there's this is chain, isn't it? Yeah. Is there's quite a bit of shooting and not much accuracy going on. They're just trying to shoot through into there. It's not working too well for them. The turrets all appear to have stopped firing, but that does not mean everyone's dealt with just yet. There's actually like a little broadcast I think you get once everyone's actually dealt with. So I'm just gonna pick up all these point three eight rounds because they're oh, yeah, they're equal to a cap a piece. And somewhere we also have a legendary enemy. I wonder if he's this one? No. He's back somewhere. Oh, and yet more combat zone. Uh, I, oh no, a little protector on died. I mean, that is kind of useful for me because it gives me some junk I'll need to build my own robots. Uh, but where is this legendary? Do they? Were they one of the ones who legged it fully? I'll be a bit annoyed if that's the case. It means I'm going to have to definitely go after them because... Yeah, it's not one of you two, not you, not you, not you, not you. There's no nearby enemies button. Um, I'm guessing it's that big guy who is just being beaten to death by Protectrons. Oh. Okay, wasn't you, wasn't you, wasn't you. Oh, you're going to be fixed up. And no, it wasn't you either. Where's the... There's the Huh. There's the legendary, and it's a hunter's laser musket. Um. Okay, 42 damage. How much damage is my current weapon? 36. I mean, it is more damage. And against animals as well. Mm. I'll have to give that one a bit of thought. I'm not sure if I'll actually use it, but it could be situationally very helpful. Ooh. Let me know if you got thoughts on the subject. Uh, and it looks like we're going to be escorting, yeah, the rest of these Protectrons to deal with the final enemies, because there's a few Super Mutants out back. And obviously I'm going to be looting, there we go, all the amazing stuff, which I'm actually not getting quite as much loot as you normally do in this place. But hey, hot plates and stuff, all very useful. Yeah, this is all worthwhile picking up. And, I mean, if more robots do go down, that is just more useful junk for me. Oh, first aid kits, and oh yeah, a trio of robots here. I mean, the steel repairs the power armor, and everything else. Oh, everything else is. There we go. Is good for me to have too. Mm. Oh, another legendary. Oh damn, we're getting double legendary. Okay, you know what? Let's get some more mines out, cause not a bottle cap mine. That's a bit much. Do I not have any normal sort of mines? No. Um, wow, I've got so many weapons. Let's just throw a Molotov then. <laughs> Get a bit of damage over time going on. And, okay, I can't see the health bar of these enemies. But, that's, I thought I heard a ticking sound. Uh, I want to make sure I've got plenty of, yeah, damage going on here. To ensure that I actually get the experience for the kill. Which, yep, I do get. And there's one more. Is that everyone? Security breach Excellent. Visitors may now yep. Come and go as they Visitors can do what they want. Perfect. And ooh, some fusion cells there. Let's find out what... Oh, leather again. Alright, well I'm just going to loot this place and then we can leave. There's quite a lot of good junk in this place. Like, I've been picking up microscopes and fancy hairbrushes and a lot of crystal and just... Yeah, stuff that's well worth getting. And that's the little back doorway opened. Yeah, it's 100% worth coming here for, like, multiple reasons. Like, it's a uh, quite a lot of easy kills because the robots support you in the fight, as long as you don't turn against them. There's an absolute boatload of junk, there's the intelligence bobblehead, and there's a very easy-to-get-into loot room, where we, in this case, got a plasma pistol. It's, it's really just a good location to end up at. Not a ton of combat this episode, so I'm only halfway through level 11. Blast, I was going to check what junk I had to show off the hall. Uh, yeah, but I also have... But look at all this stuff for me to drop. Yeah, I think I'm going to hop out the power armor, drop 
like all the spare weapons and armor that I'm definitely not going to use. Oh, let's actually put on my chest piece first because I've got yeah pocketed painted metal chest piece. Look at this. This is. I mean, all the stuff's very skinny, I guess, which isn't quite the look I'd go for, but it, it's fitting enough of a character. Now I'm just going to ditch all of these other bits and pieces, which I really don't need. Uh, like, wait, wait, what's up with my metal right leg? Shadowed metal right leg. Yeah, I might actually go for the lightweight one. Yeah, and then I can just shadow it, if that makes sense. Yeah, so I'm going to drop the stuff I don't need, store away like spare legendaries, and then wrap it all up. Oh, and yeah, dropping these things is giving me some like real good little bits of loot here and there. Because the more modified a gun is, the better it is for scrapping. Which means I'm getting quite a bit of stuff. And even on like the basic things, there's like leather and screws and just stuff that I'm sure I'll end up needing as time goes by. Taking a quick look at lock look, I can't speak. Look at modding this plasma pistol. And I can do the pistol mods. However, I need science rank 3 or at least rank 2 to turn it into a rifle, which is what I'm spec'd out for. And I keep hitting spacebar into the venter. And where is... I mean, I'm going to need science, so I may as well just put a point into it. Might and I, it's lower than that, Sarge. Okay, I need rank... I need level 17 before I can actually mod this weapon out pro properly. So I think I'm just going to ditch everything in here for the time being. And also ditch, like, all these explosives. I feel like I've got a few too many at this point. And, yeah, that's all good. I'll keep my eight items on me for now. Let's... let's not worry about the sleeping. Let's just wrap up the episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Quite an easy one there. We got the Intelligence Bobblehead, which is good. Also completed the Minimum Quest, which means we're on to the castle. Got myself a bunch more energy cells. Like, they're called fusion cells. Why do I keep saying energy cells? Uh, 582. Okay, we did use quite a few this episode as well, but we're keeping our supplies stocked up. Uh, gonna be needing more caps if I'm gonna want to keep in proper stock, but that's all good. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, feel free to suggest stuff in the comments below, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Sarge out.